Hello everyone, I'm Vivian Hand. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum today. Oh. Why, this totally wasn't planned. Hello there. We got a Riolu. And it's gonna be... Cashew. Just because. Alright, well, let's, uh, dump that into PC, never look at it again. Uh, also, I just realized it's another frickin' happiness evolution, which is gonna be a great time. Also, it's exclusive to, uh, evolving in the morning, because, yeah, Embryon, Embryon and Uspion already existed. <laughs> like, I just didn't bother correcting it the second time there. But they already existed, and uh, they had the time-based ones, and then this game is like, hey, let's have a bunch of babies have that as well. Really great. So, uh, here's a certain little gem. Seal represents an unbending spirit. I refuse to accept defeat, and the path to victory reveals itself. Yeah, um, this is a steel gem, but it wasn't so in, uh, Diamond and Pearl. Because, uh, yeah, here's Steelix, but, uh, in that game, it was just kind of filled with Onyx, and it also had an Azumarill, and I think a Floatzel, because Floatzel is never gym, and other stuff that I'm forgetting. I think it had, like, actually, do I still have a document for that? I think I might have... Oh, I can't use it, because Torment! Weird that it even has Torment. Let me check something real quick, though. Did I make a notepad of that? Uh, let's see... Oh, I don't think I did. Oh, right. Torment again. Unless it's another under P... Uh... I don't think so. No, it's kind of disappointing. I actually made, like, a list of what Pokémon were in there. Because there were some... Pretty whacked out choices. The strange one I can remember is the Azumarill, though. It had no place in this gym. Which has a funky. What, whatever you call that elevator puzzle, I guess. Uh, actually, you know what? So we didn't use wrench at all last time, so. Let's uh, have some wench, wench action. Oh my god, okay, well that is a totally different thing, which I uh, shall not be partaking in in this video, because that's really inappropriate. Okay, up and down you go on the lift, me, I like to battle. He doesn't like going up and down on the lift, so that's why he just kind of sits here for all eternity. He has to get people to bring him food and stuff. Alrighty. Well, let's just break this Magnemite in half for being a meme in Japan. Can somebody tell me what the hell is up with that? Like, Magnemite just kind of is always popular in Japan for, like, inexplicable reasons, and I think it's some sort of meme, but I certainly don't know what the joke is. Can somebody explain it to me? Because I'd love to know, because I actually tried looking this up, but I can't find anything. And it's the weirdest thing. Also, uh, Wrench's head is on fire. I... I... am slightly concerned for him, but... Well, he seems to be alright so far. Oh well. There we go. B. Parker Jackson. And there's nothing here. Good. That ace trainer over there had to zoom real, I think. There's no, there's nothing here. There is nothing here, because this just goes straight there. There's another guy here, though. Pokemon Jim isn't only about seeing how tough your Pokemon have to be, it's so much deeper than that, just as a test of you as a person. And if you're scared of elevators, then you're in tough shit here. Okay, no. He has a single Magnemite? Come on, the guy that we just saw had three of them. To be fair, it is matching my level, but... 
Not for long, because I'm about to level up once I beat him, probably. And... yep. Alrighty. Thirty-eight. For Gary. I, I guess this time Gary's a loser. And going by the anime, I guess Ash has been here. Okay, stop looking at Wrench. I want to switch. I want to switch him. I'm not keep staring at him creepily. Terra's probably gonna do really well in this game as well. Also, because saying well twice makes me sound really redundant. Did he call me a noob? And for that matter, did this game just use the word noob? And for that matter, is this a scissor? Which, yeah, was actually in the Pokedex. I just kind of forgot for a second, even though I have a Scyther in my PC right now. And jeez, that did a lot. Okay, uh, Thunderbolt is neutral. And boosted by the choice specs, and that did not nearly as much as I was hoping it would to. Okay. Um, I could run, but use a moon milk instead. Wish I had more lemonades, but at this point there's no reason to go back anymore and get them. So it's just for wanting a variety of items and hmm. Uh who resists that? Well wrench, but Okay, let's go for Terra. So this Scissor is level 40. Why wasn't that Magnemite level 40 then? Alright. Yeah. Terra can tank physical hits, no problem. And is this gonna finish it off? It's neutral, I think, because Bug resists ground. Despite that being kind of odd. But it does. But, it's fine. Let's get the scissor. Just experience to both my guys. And I beat Caesar. Turn him into a salad. Or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's nothing over here. I do like the, uh, death there. Also, I like how that one guy still stays there, but I think everybody else disappears. Kind of Actually, no. There's still a guy there, but I think the guy who was in the middle there. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure he vanished. Or maybe he wasn't right there. I don't know. Here's a guy, though. Pokemon and people have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of, uh, of that history. Alrighty. Gerardo. Ooh, I got Magnet Pull, which means it now can't escape. Uh... I have nothing that's good against this thing. Uh, Thunderbolt, maybe? I know it's resisted by its electric type, but... Everything else is resisted, too. I guess it did pretty well, though, because of, uh, tree specs. So I guess I don't have anything to really complain about here. Right, then the Magnemite goes. Ah, uh, yeah, if I haven't stated it clearly, Magnet Pull uh, makes it so Steel Taps can't switch out. Should have actually switched to Terra here, but I forgot to. Luckily, in this game, there won't be a Zoom Rails that uh, will ruin its day. Okay, Thunder Rave is a little bit annoying, but. I can manage. Alrighty. And there it goes. Okay, unnecessary critical, because that's just what Pokemon loves to do. Not quite 666. Yeah. Spectacular loss is still a loss. Don't know if it was spectacular though, but. I'm not gonna burst your bubble on that one. Ew, I guess Linux does have the highest HP, but... I don't actually know if it gets lowered once it reaches the final stage, because, uh... 
they do have slightly different stats. Hiya! We're coming out swinging with super heavy judo chops. Um. All right. It's kind of weird how there's just black belts in here, and they have steel X despite usually only having fighting types. Oh well. Because I know hikers have rock types as well, along with fighting types, but I thought uh, Black Bell's mostly stuck to what they knew, which is uh, Foyton. If there's two things they love, it's Foyton and Foyton round the world. Oh well. So here we have a two defensive powerhouse to very slow uh, ground types, but that one was part steel, and I'm not. But I was the one who beat him, so I guess I still win in the end. There you are again. Does Earthquake take it out? No. I should have known it wouldn't, but... Okay, now, if you, you can keep screeching at me, but unless you actually do something to take advantage of the screeching, it's not gonna work. And I'm faster, so... Don't know what you were trying there, but... I, I take it it failed. So, whatever. Down goes to Steelix. Take his experience. Okay, pretty good. That was complete thrashing! Oh, well, I guess it was. Alrighty, uh... Oh, sticks, I guess. Oh, sticks, you're not actually gonna be doing too well here, because... Unlike in Gen 6, when you're, uh, neutral to... Steel types with, uh... Your two... Stab types, uh... You are not in this game. By focusing only on one type, you can really see strengths and weaknesses of that Pokémon. Don't you mean of that type? Unless you only have one Pokémon too. Actually... Okay, no, Sticks is gonna do fine here, because these are all neutral to me. If this was Gen 6, though, I'd have super effective moves here to bark with, but... I don't know. Neutral Shadow Ball is gonna work just as well. I'm not going to use Dream Eater at all, because Dream Eater is doubly resisted by these things, and... That's just a dumb move. I believe these things could have already been evolved, because I think it's a level 33. I should know, I used one in Pearl, but... I really don't remember. Here's a 2 KO though, which is pretty nice. That was a critical. Wow. Yeah, Gyro Ball should do a lot more damage than it usually does, but, you know, as I implied there, it just kind of doesn't. Right, Sucker Punch. Beat the Bronzor. And another Bronzor. And I want to say this is the final trainer, but I'm not entirely sure about that one. But regardless, boom. Also, they were slightly leveling up, I can tell, because this one is taking even less damage. Okay, don't hit yourself. Good job, Sticks. Your accuracy may be... awful, but... you tend to know not to hit yourself. Maybe it's your, uh, culmination of minds. Because it'd be kind of odd for all 108 to just suddenly be like, Wait, did he just say hit ourselves? Okay. Whatever. And it's a weird ghost scroll coming out of a rock. How does it even hurt itself? Here's a red thing. It's going to the top to the gym leader. Uh, I am going to switch to Sirius instead. Come on. Uh, yeah, let's take this guy on. Ah, Orbrook's gym badge! I see, I see, you defeated my son! 
That's no surprise, he has much to learn. In place of my son Rourke, I, Byron, will challenge you. So, yeah. Here we go. Byron, he's Rourke's dad, and he has a Magneton. Kind of disappointed that's not a Magnezone. They could have... They could have done that. I mean, he is a Seal Type Gym Leader. So... Gonna go for Sunlight here. But... I'm not actually going to be using... This recent battle. I am going to switch to Wrench, who's gonna... Wreck everything's face. With Boosted Flame Wheel. Sunlight is strong, and we're just gonna rock their world. Alright. Critical hit, too. Well, that was probably unnecessary, but hey, I'll take it. Alright, one down. There's a Bronze Ore next, I believe. Oh, Steelix. I guess he got rid of his Bronze Ore after uh, Diamond and Pearl then. Uh, I think Flame Mill might actually be neutral to this thing because it is parked ground, but I don't actually remember if ground resists fire or not. I guess not. Oh geez, Earthquake. Uh, Livid, maybe. Somehow. Ooh, sweet. If I had close combat, I would probably be able to finish this off with a. Well, with close combat. <laughs> yeah, if I had close combat, I would be able to finish it off with. Flame wheel somehow. Do more? No. Okay, and he's gonna be healing it next turn, so that kinda sucks. Oh well. My strategy of plowing through the gym didn't really work out as I planned. If I did have Fire Blast, it would have probably worked out better because I would have had a special move, but. I'm kinda on the fence about getting Fire Blast because if I do. I will only have one... Did it? Actually... Yeah, I will only have one dedicated physical user, which is, uh, Terra. Which is kind of bad, and... Wow. Okay, that was a critical, but still. Good job there. Very glad I made you stick around. 39. Alrighty. Uh... Bastiodon. Uh, let's go for Terra. Stay with Cerise, but I don't want to overlevel her. And, yeah. Terra, you've had your chances in the last two gym fights. Didn't do very well either time, I think. Actually, you put up a pretty decent fight in uh, Wake's gym, but this is where you should shine. Bastiodon does have sturdy, but it doesn't go by Gen 5 rules, so. It being ground bra or rock and steel, it's four times weak to it, and goes down to one hit. Good job. There we go. Beat him. <clears throat> My sturdy Pokemon defeated! You were strong enough to take down my prized team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this the Mind Badge. Cool. Alright. So, now you have six gym badges. That means all Pokemon up to level 70 will be without question. Which is sad because that means Maui still won't listen to me, but I'm not really using Maui anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Flash Cannon is pretty decent, but again, nobody can learn it. And, uh, we just kind of have to go around. And more around, and. Take this to the bottom. That was the Cantilave Gym. That was pretty cool, but... Oh, jeez. Hey, that's the Mind Badge! Good going! You're tougher to consider... You're tough enough to consider becoming a champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not gonna actually happen. Anyway, Kevin, come to me this in the library. I don't know why you still consider yourself tougher. I keep beating you. At every frickin' turn. Okay, so... Going to quickly heal everybody before moving on. 
So three, four, five, boom. I have to do something during the healing, because it kind of takes a little while. Actually, no. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not actually going to do what I was going to do there. You'll see why soon enough. Too slow! Come on, let's move it! Well, I'm sorry that I wanted to heal my Pokémon. I don't want them to be, like, in pain. Also, enter the library for free. Oh, okay. I don't have to be a jerk about it. Jeez. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, he's books and Pokémon. Actually... Books, or many people. Is that all that they're gonna say? What about these? Somebody else, they're not ceiling high. I could steal, see room between them and the ceiling. Hey, Kevin, over here, this way! Okay, Gramps, I've got Kevin, like I said. Alright, I'll be, I'll be out of here. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's fine here, fine, but Kevin, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokémon. But doing plenty of that. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. The Pokémon that evolve and those that don't. It makes them different from each other. Those that do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? So, what do we make of the legendary Pokémon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokémon are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the Three Lakes of Sinnoh, they're said to be Mirage Pokémon. You can obtain data on them, and may shed some light on how the process of evolution works. I'm gonna need help from each and one of you for this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokémon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokédex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokédex? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you and becoming a better trainer, too. You can count on me, too. I will help with my Pokedex, too. Kevin, you go, too, won't you? Oh, wait. Oh, that wasn't growing yet. Hmm. I would have all of you... Go, I would have made all of you go regardless. <laughs> you jerk. Anyway, now there are three legs. Fortuitous, fortuitously, there are three of you... There are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you will go. You go to Lake Verity. Will do. Roy, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. At that point, that would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh, and I need a tough trainer to go. Oh uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. I know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. And you know what? I was gonna go catch those legendary Pokemon for you. You know, as a thanks for giving us the Pokemon back on Route 201. Even though I completely forgot until about just now. Very well, I'm counting on you. And it leaves Kevin with Lake Valor. The lake is between Vilstone and Pistoria, if memory serves. Oh, someone set us up the bomb. But has it stopped? Are you all unharmed? What was that about? No, way. I mean, TV, TV, news, anything! It's actually pretty smart to do. Well, yeah, as I said, someone set us up the bomb. But you've just witnessed this actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. He was just kind of standing there with his other cameraman, and facing away from the lake, but still somehow managed to capture this. It's certainly impressive. Who knows what the explosion could expose at the lake? Grams, they said it was an explosion! Hmm, but why at Lake Valor? Let's get outside. I'm concerned about the town. You kids, be careful going down the stairs. Even though there's nothing there? Kevin, you should leave now, too. There may be aftershocks, however, be alert always. Did the whole region shake then? That's kind of odd. The original story. In the beginning, there was only a churning turmoil of chaos. The heart of chaos, where all things became one, appeared an egg. Having tumbled from the vortex, the egg gave rise to the original one. That's Arceus, I think. From the origin, from the from itself, two beings, the original one, did make. Time started to spin. Space began to expand. Dong. 
From itself, three living things the original one did make. Shall I keep reading? Two beings wished, and from them matter came to be. Three living things wished, and from them spirit came to be. Uh, those are the lakes we know. The world created, the original one took un to unyielding sleep. It's kinda cool. A horrific myth. Look not into Pokémon's eyes, but in an instant you'll have no recollection of who you are. Turn home, but how? When there's nothing to remember. Dare not to touch the Pokémon's body. Three short days, all emotions will drain away. Above all, harm not the Pokémon. In scant five days, the offender will grow immobile in eternity. That's about the lake trio, that's kind of terrifying. Some folk stories. Uh, part one. Pick clean the bones of a Pokémon caught and see your stream. Thank them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. When the bones are as clean as they can be, set them free in the water from which they came. Pokémon will return fully fleshed and begin anew. The crap? That's morbid and terrifying and weird. Live the Pokémon in the forest. The forest the Pokémon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awaken to human dawns the Pokémon hide to roam villages. Oh, well... That sounds like something that will come up in the future. On this game, though. The monster Pokémon that became very close to humans. Once Pokémon and humans ate together and sat at the same table. It was at that time there existed no difference as to distinguish the two. And then fan fiction happens. Okay, no, whatever. Okay, no, they're the same things. That's all now. What's in here? Sit with... Betray not your anger, let's... will come. Weed not the sorrow, or we'll draw near. Join in it. And enjoyment come natural as the very air, that is happiness. Such as the blessing by the hand of master. The words are spoken often as customary. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. Is it not easy to say they did not help each other? No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. Pokemon proposed to others to always be ready to help humans, and asked the Pokemon to be ready to appear before a human always. Thus to this day, Pokemon appear to us when we venture into the tall grass. That's kind of a funny way to explain that. Sinus myth. The Pokemon were there. Into the lakes they dove, deep, deep, drawing no breath. Deeper, deeper they dove. In suffocating depths they dove. Deeper, that deep as they alight from the lake and floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands, they rise again. Fieldstone's myth. A young man, callow and foolish and innocent, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokémon, which gave sustenance with carefree about. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokémon appeared. Lourdes grew bare. Oh my god. Young man, seeking the missing Pokémon, journeyed afar. Long did he search far and wide. Okay. Until he did f until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, You bear your sword to bring harm upon us with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll. From your kind we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to guard ourselves for it, I apologize. Oh my god. The to the skies the young man shouted his dismay, and having found the sword I have lost so much. Gorged with power I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again. The sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokémon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. What the hell? I love these things, but... They're weird as hell. They're really cool, though. I don't know what all of them, uh... pertain to, especially the myths. The Tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, old dude and kids, did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Gramps, I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. We're not Star Wars here. Stop that. That Roy can't sit still. Kevin, I don't like to demand, but I need you at Lake Valor. It's impossible for things to be okay. Not after an explosion like that. I have no idea what is taking place. Before you go, let me stress: don't get in over your head. We can try to join. We will try to join you soon, as we expect like Verity. Kevin, you'll be okay, no matter what, right? Yeah, I'll be fine. But that's a worry for next time. So for now, I'm gonna thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when, uh, yeah, 
we're gonna go to like Valar, so I'll just meet you there. So, bye for now.